Hello all, this is YouTube video update for April 3rd, 2017 for Politics Part 1. Politics has been pretty f funny lately, and yet kind of, I don't want to say shocking, but it makes me kind of angry to know that the media will stoop so low to do certain things. Not angry as in, like, angry, angry, but disappointed. Uh, they got this new thing in the media where this girl gets raped by an illegal who all the Congress and the Senate in your White House are letting into the country from Mexico, Mexico, and one of them rapes a girl in high school. And Fox News, specifically Kimberly Guilfoyle, one of the actors on The Five. She's not a reporter, she's just an actor. She says the key word that kind of angers me in a disappointing kind of way. The quote unquote alleged rapist who allegedly raped the girl. Okay? How the fuck do you get on TV and say who allegedly raped the girl when they got the DNA who convicts the spick? Maybe Kimberly Guilfoyle should get raped one time and then she can discuss whether she actually did or didn't get raped. By the way, Kimberly Guilford does not have a daughter, like she says on the show, and she does not have two puppies, which she miraculously brought on either this week or the, or the week before. Yeah, you may hear my two puppies. Yeah, okay. Fox News reporters are so pa such pathological liars, they'll sit there and say, well, I robbed the bank and everybody will believe, and all the liberals and all the audience will believe them. Bob Beckel is back in the five. I don't know how the hell, I don't know why the hell they even hired him. He doesn't even make sense. He says shit that doesn't make sense. And when everyone corrects him, he mirrors their own words back to them and says they're wrong. The asshole does not make sense. He labels Donald Trump a racist. He's got no proof. And he's just blah 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 blah. He says shit that doesn't even make sense, and yet he's on the show. He works for CNN. He worked for CNN last year, and the only thing that got him back in the five was all the liberals on the outnumbered page bitching about why they haven't seen him in a long time. And then the first day he's back, he's acting like everyone's enthusiastic about him being back on the show. The asshole does not make sense. So I don't even know why the hell they even had him hired. They took Bill O'Reilly to tell the truth. He didn't disappear. He didn't go away for a year. Because he was addicted to back medication and he didn't go away for a year because he had back surgery. He never had back surgery and he never got addicted to back me uh, to, to medicine. He got hired at CNN. I don't know why everyone is so worried about him. He's an asshole that doesn't make sense. He's exactly like Juan Williams. A nigger who doesn't see what you mean by something. I mean... In a legit, in a legit question, either they're paid to be assholes, or they really are an asshole. Either they get paid to be that stupid, or they really are that stupid. Fifteen hours worth of weighing in, and fifteen hours of interpretations, reinterpretations of interpretations, analyzations of I think of reinterpretations of other interpretations. Fox News is not an informative news station. It's a commentary of interpreted 
of an interpreted storyline. That's basically what Fox News is. It's an interpreted storyline made into nothing but commentary and gossip. Same exact way with Kimberly Guilfoyle. She doesn't think that a girl in, in high school got a thing jammed in her. How the hell do you say alleged, like I said before, how the hell do you say alleged when there was evidence that convicted the spick? Okay? When you get DNA inside of a girl, where a spick forces himself inside her, how the hell do you get off on saying alleged? Just like, and I dare say this, Kimberly Guilfoyle was allegedly a prosecutor in California. Allegedly. Meaning, we have no proof that she actually was or is a prosecutor. And we have no proof that she actually took part in court sessions. So therefore, she is allegedly proclaiming to be a prosecutor. That's the reality of it. Reporters from Fox News are such pathological liars that they are allegedly advertising and interpreting things that allegedly happened through the government and they bitch that the audience doesn't take them seriously. So, in reality, Fox News is allegedly a fair and balanced commentary TV station. Okay, I would love for them to prove what they actually are. Because all it is is weighing in interpretation of reinterpretations and gossip. I bet you any amount of money, none of the reporters on Fox News really are what they say they are, allegedly are. So... Don Imus is the only one in the morning. Don Imus is the only one who actually tells the facts. He even questions the information he gets on his own show. Don Imus makes up for every reporter on Fox News, except for Bill O'Reilly. The only thing... That happens on Fox News is interpretation. Bob Beckel says shit, fuck, and son, and son of a bitch on Fox News on a regular basis and doesn't even get fired for it. But he gets hired over at, at, at Fox News' sister station at CNN for a year. Everyone's complaining that Bob Beckel's gone, and then he gets high, and then he goes back on uh, Fox News and acts like everyone misses him. Now, everyone is saying that Donald Trump is not doing enough. Congress and Senate are. Gotta get it done, gotta get it done. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta get it done, 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 we gotta get it done. We gotta get it done. We gotta get it done. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta get it done. Meantime, they've had eight years worth of the nigger being in office who has sat on his ass for eight years getting his $700,000 worth of free welfare a year. No one said anything about him sitting on his ass and doing nothing, but they <coughs> gotta get it done, gotta get it done with Donald Trump. And since when can Congress block an executive order? An executive order is made to bypass Congress and the Supreme Court. So now it's getting to the point where the good guy like Donald Trump has to file an executive order in order to get something done. But over a sudden now, Congress and Senate 
Or, oh, we're going to block that. We don't want that. We're going to block it. Meantime, they never blocked any of the nigger, any, any of the vigor's uh, executive orders. They claimed they were arguing with him, and he claimed that they, he was arguing with them. They claimed that he was arguing with them, and he claimed that they were arguing with him. Since when can Congress and Senate block an executive order? An executive order, for those of you who don't know, is a lot like Windows 7 right now. If there's an intrusion, if you want to set up a program, an admin notice comes up on Windows saying, do you really want to do this? And you click yes or no, no to block it, yes to okay with it. Since when does Senate block an admin that you are wanting? Donald Trump is filing executive orders in order to get something done. So in other words, Congress and Senate are pretty much, in plain reality, breaking their own rules and claiming that they are higher than the president when in fact the president is actually higher than the Congress and Senate. After Obama manipulates everyone into thinking that the, 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 the president is higher than the Supreme Court when the Supreme Court is higher than the president. Meantime, the Supreme Court is the only one who can actually block an executive order against the president if he is unlawfully and unconstitutionally and, un, and illegally doing a bill. But over some Congress and Senate think that they can block anything they want. Meantime... Get it, get it done, get it, get it done, get it, get it done. Which the fuck is it? Are you blocking an executive order or are we... Gotta get it done. And I mean this in full sarcasm. This is the part where it angers me, but I'm not an ang... But I'm... But not... But, but without being an angry person. I'm disappointed at the shit that is going on. I'm not angry per se, angry like... I'm angry that you didn't get my stuff. I'm not angry in that way. I'm angry with sarcasm because it goes to show you that this black guy on this football team is being crucified by the media and everyone around him because he doesn't stand for a flag. Meantime, he's doing it he's doing it in a quiet protest, just like I'm in a, just like I'm a publicly self confessed anti American. Just like an, an American is anti Iraq and anti Afghanistan. Okay. They are crucifying a black guy. Now this is me defending a black guy. Okay. It's not like I'm. I'm a, it's not like I'm a fucking racist like all the other liberals think everyone else is. Okay. Everyone is crucifying a black guy, regardless of how much he's getting in the media, regardless of how much he's getting paid. Unless he's an asshole. Everyone is crucifying him. We're not standing for a flag. In silent protest. Meantime, Congress is gonna get it done, gotta get it done, gotta get it done, and can't make up their mind on these executive orders. They're blocking an, they're blocking an executive order to create progress. But meantime, they're they wanting to create progress that they're blocking. Do you understand the point? <laughs> They're blocking progress that they want to make. We gotta get it done, but we gotta block it. Which the fuck is it? <laughs> so that's it's 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 getting really fucked up. This is why I say I am against Americans who don't have an education. I don't apologize for saying that it takes fifteen Americans to make up for one educated Asian. It takes 15 Americans to make up for one educated English. It takes 15 uneducated Americans to make up for one New Zealander. Don't you find that ironic that New Zealand and Ireland already have a cure for cancer? 
and yet uneducated Americans, all they do is, for, is burn people up with radiation because they can't find a cure for cancer. Meantime, all the European countries are working out fine. America is a stupid place. I have to honestly say, America is a stupid place, and if people and, and I and, and honestly, everyone can say all they want, but there's not one shred of proof that America actually, that the U.S. actually has a shred of education. The only ones who have an education are the gifted children, the minority of the educated adults. A key word, minority, and autistic kids. Yes, autistic kids may have a deformed part of the brain that disconnects them from reality, but I guarantee you one thing. A gifted child, an autistic child, will be the first one to come up with the warp drive engine. For those of you who do not know what that is, it's an engine that scientists make to create a faster than light engine. For those of you who don't know, light speed is 543 million miles an hour. Roughly translated in layman's terms, that's seven and a half Earths per second. It will take an autistic child or a gifted child and, and an educated adult to make an engine that will go faster than light by creating a black hole mixed in with dilithium to neutralize it so you don't suck the whole room in. Regular, uneducated Americans can't do that because they don't have the education for it. And the government would block that because they want to continue with the profitable oil. Now over sun, to go on to one of the other things, Bill O'Reilly is facing a court lawsuit. Three women are accusing Bill O'Reilly of sexual assault. Bill O'Reilly may be off sometimes, but I'm in full support of him saying live on his own show, if you do not stop the false accusations, I will have a warrant for your arrest for slander. I would love to have him, I would love to see him do that. But of course, he's probably thinking to himself, a dusty dirt off my shoulder. It's, it's no big fucking deal. It's no big deal. I don't care. It's all false accusations. They're going to have to prove it. Same way 15 women have to prove that Donald Trump assaulted them. <laughs> so it's, it's getting pretty much stupid. Uh... That's it's pretty much it for the for the politics. It's all pretty much pretty damn stupid. Now all of a sudden they're arguing over Syria because of chemical warfare, which is a dangerous thing. But politics as per usual is getting pretty stupid. That's why I say it's angerful to know that one guy gets crucified, yet the government is and its followers, liberal followers, are so fucking stupid. It really is. It really is so. It really is that stupid. But uh, in any case, that is it for politics part one. We're gonna go on to anti-social media part two.